It's another on this day, and it's a Champions League special, which is fitting on the, the day of the night we played Bayern Munich in the Champions League. And this one's back in 2008, Inter Milan at home. And it's funny, Gareth, because when I spoke to you about, about, about doing this one, you sort of had to remember which one it was, yeah. really, which just kind of shows that how spoiled we were in that period, 2005 to 2009, how many top teams came and, and got defeated at Anfield. We were the number one ranked team in Europe. And yes, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a great time to go to Anfield and watch us. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, it, it seems like just the whole time I've been going to match that we've been able to you know, raise ourselves for Europe. And whether that's the tradition, whether that's just the fact that it's a little bit different, whether it's the idea that you know these clubs are coming over here and we want to show them what we're all yeah. about. I don't know what it is, but we do always raise our game. And in a way, it's almost a little bit annoying because that season when I, when I did start thinking back, yeah, we're beating Inter Milan 2-0 with two late like, goals. It was fantastic, great results and all the rest of it. But three days before, we were knocked out of the FA Cup by Barnes. And, yeah. and it was like, <laughs> well, what are you up to? I, I, I think they'd lost like seven games by the... You know, it's on yeah. this day. On this day, we're in February. Yeah. And on this day, at that point in that season, we'd lost seven games. Yeah. But but there we were, knocking... You know, well, not knocking Inter Milan out, but... On the way to. On the way to, yeah. yeah. And it was like... I almost think like it's a little bit annoying that, that that why has that been the case over the years? And it's almost if you bring it back to the to the current day where we are now, we're all getting dead excited about going tonight to, to the Munich game and we know the cop will be brilliant, the ground will be brilliant, it'll be rocking and hopefully we beat them. But almost I think, you know, the real positive of lately is what happened against Bournemouth, the fact that we finally got up for a big, you know, a league game that was just a three PM against the run of the mill opposition because I look back to this game, this Inter Milan game, and I don't know who was writing for the Echo at the time, but I read the Echo report on it, and whoever it was was having a bit of a pop at the fans, so it feels like it might have been Tony Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> but, he, but he was basically saying, like, Sam, that you've all got up for that, yeah. but you just want to do the same when you play Middlesbrough on Saturday. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. So, you know, and at the same, we're having the same conversations now, man. Yeah, I mean... We need to remember, I think, how good that Inter Milan team were. Um, I read up a little bit about them. They were in the middle of five consecutive Serie A. Um, Triumphs, the first one, I think they got awarded because uh, Juve were up to no good, but, but one four on the bounce. Um, legitimately, if you like, or, or, or from the get-go after that, uh, won the league, obviously, that season. They were 27 games unbeaten. As you said, we just lost to Barnsley, and so they were able to do these. Their count scores, big game player, Gerard with the kind of the goal at the end. They had to work hard for it, though, didn't they? Because that, that the team was so strong. Yeah, and they were down to 10, weren't they? Yeah. Matarazzi got two yellow cards. I think the second one's like in the first half, yeah, isn't yeah. it? So it was you know, quite a long time that they were knocking on the door and then they finally get through. I've seen the goals back before as well. Someone posted them up on Twitter and I was laughing at that as well because you sort of, you know, you just forget about certain players, don't yeah. you? And I've, I'd kind of forgot about Jermaine Pennant. <laughs> but I'd also forgot, like, you know, he was a bit of a pain in the arse and, and, and probably by his own admission he was a pain in the arse judging off some of the stuff he said in his book. But... He whips in a great ball, yeah. and I think that was one of the reasons we bought him, wasn't yeah. it? That he was like, you know, top for assists and all the rest of it, and it was the idea that he was going to be whipping in these great crosses, and you know, he, he did pop up with the odd good moments, and that ball for Coit was it was one of them, I, I yeah. guess. But yeah, the Gerard goal is great, isn't it? As well, yeah. kisses the post, uh, Daisy Cutter, Gerard, Gerard esque, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, how many times as well was he just like that talisman? He pops up at the right time to get to get Liverpool a win, and. I still miss him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny with Gerard because I found an interview uh, by Gerard from the time, and he sort of after the game, and he sort of you know obviously looks a bit younger. We all did it ten years ago, and it, well apart from you, with your eternal <laughs> uh, eternal fans of youth. But um, still never out tonight. Isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> but. I mean, he's, he's sort of saying, oh, yeah, in some land, probably just thought he needed to turn up and win and all that. And I was like, well, I'm sure they never. <laughs> but that was the sort of attitude they had at the that's time, wasn't ourselves. it? And I think that's what helped. And I think a little bit of that tonight, one go and miss maybe against Bayern, you know, a little bit of a maybe Jürgen going, oh, you know, Bayern Munich, they think the boss, you know what I mean? Well, we'll show them a bit of that from the players, a bit of that from the crowd. You know, it helps, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the psychology of the situation, isn't it? Like, you know, you, you sort of, like we were saying before, like, why can we get up for these games and not other ones? And I think it's just it's just the human nature of it. If Bayern Munich are coming to Anfield, we know that they've won 28 titles in Germany. We know that they've won the European Cup five times. We know that they're big balls in terms of European pedigree. And so we want to knock them down. We want to show them what we're about. And I seen something yesterday, and I'm sure, like, whoever's sewn it together and made it was, wasn't looking to why 
wound me up. <laughs> but it wound me up anyway. Because it was like, it was from Bayern Munich's like official account. And they'd made this thing like compare and, you know, the Alliance Arena to, uh, to Anfield. Right. And, you know, it was all like, you know, capacity and all that. And I'm watching it going, well, so what? So what if your ground's bigger? Ours is better though. Ours is noisier. We can, we can do a European night better than yeah. you can. And I think it, it's that aspect, isn't it? It was the same when we played United yeah. in, in, the, uh, in the Europa. I remember the build-up to that. We all, we all were like going to the match going, right, let's show the Manx how to do a European night. And we definitely did it better than them. Really looking forward to going to Munich now and Robbo starting on their stadium. <laughs> <laughs> you big, yeah? <laughs> but you fancy lights, yeah? <laughs> so what? <laughs> so, something for us all to look forward to. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, yeah, we've all got tonight to look forward to and it's going to be great. But nice little look back to 2008, but this team are better, aren't they? And they've got more chance tonight. They, have, they are, yeah. They're a great side. Much, much more depth to the squad. So I think it's fair to say it's compared to back then. We, we won't be bringing Pennants off the bench to, uh, no. to, look, to look to turn games. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm made up watching this side and I think we've got to keep reminding ourselves of how good they are and how, how poor some of the sides we've watched over the years are. I mean, I, I did something over the weekend where I sort of look back at all the past seasons and, you know, we've already got 65 points on yeah. the board in the league. And that's like more than like about 16 of the last 25 seasons, I think it is, Unreal. which is absolutely mad. So, yeah, get to Anfield tonight. Come let us adore them, the boss. <laughs> 